creating a slideshow or a gallery is quite easy. Let me show you. I'm on my personal page here and here's my image module and I choose gallery. And here are a list of my galleries. I can edit them or I can add, remove them or add a new one. I want to add a new one. New gallery. Good. So this is the Norwegian National Day 2010, May 17th, where we celebrate our constitution. And I can browse here for images. Upload them. And they pop into place here. Let's get another one. And pops into place. Let's get another one. And finally, let's get a fourth one. In addition to uploading from my hard drive like I do here, I could of course search by tag here in all images that are, that are already uploaded to my image module. <coughs> so here I have now uploaded four brand new images the originals are stored in the module and as I use the different image types, image versions of these four images, they will be duly created. I can add captions here. My father heading up the children's parade. And my daughter's school class singing the angels choir which is my daughter at her school and also the final one the children's gospel choir in the citizens parade okay maybe I would like uh, this image to be first okay I'll just drag and drop the order of things here yeah so this is now the order first second third fourth and I save and I'm happy with it and I can of course now choose to edit it here by dragging and dropping some more or tagging the images giving copyright information relevant URLs if there's a certain URL that is specifically tied to that image that's possible to do in the context of that gallery that is because text tags and copyright will be immediately tied to the image original the URL will only be applicable to this gallery use of that photo because this photo can be used in several galleries and articles and other places the URL will only be applied here the text tags and copyright will be applied universally across the module and the other modules using it if I want to you, uh, let's say I'm not too happy with this bloke uh, in this portion of the image. So let me go into image versions here. And here are all the image types. None of them are created since I haven't displayed it yet. So let's say that I'm 
looking for uh, one particular that I want to use for slideshows. Yeah, let's say I want to use this one for slideshows. So first I create the version and let's see what happens. Yeah, the system automatically crops the image, but it's not like I want it to be, so I can edit it. So I can choose another cropping here. That's way better. Keep that guy out of the picture here. Only the kids. So this, I did not change to the original, but this specific version of the image now is only the kids and their poster, which is kind of cool. So let's go back to the gallery and we're good to go. This only shows the original, so it doesn't matter. He will still show because it's still part of the original picture. So creating an image gallery, you only go to gallery here. You can add a new gallery, you can edit, remove, upload, uh, search for pictures. It's that simple. Let me just show you how you can search for pictures so that you've seen it all. So here, instead of uploading, I can search for here, Miriam, and I can choose Miriam. This picture should be included. The, there it is. And it was tagged Miriam. That's why I was able to find it and retrieve it. Let's remove it. And we're done. 